have a slideshow, not 182 slides. <laughs> Do the talking. Um, but just for anybody who has missed it, we have Uncle Paul, also known as Up, Up, Up and Away, Aunt Sharon, Cousin Tiffany, son of my Uncle Robin. He just met Joe, delicious. Even though he's a Spinelli, he's still delicious. Mom, Uncle, and my husband David. And then we've got Lauren and Cooper, Destiny, Scott, Kathy, Scooter, Tony. So lots of deliciousness in the house. Um, please ask Tony if you talk to him later about the time Dad dropped his wallet down in the outhouse. That could make for interesting conversation over dinner. Mom's gonna get it. Mom's gonna get a shy. Um, also, just a note about the photo. I work for a photography company and we don't like to commit copyright infringement. So luckily I had the blessing of Betty and Spencer to use this photo shot by Fred Steemeyer. And the funny story about this photo, we had just lost dad and we were just sort of sitting around looking through things and magically this photo out of nowhere manifested. And it's so wonderful to look at it's because Fred was so critical in death's you know, path to salvation, and then here's this photo. And it's so dad. That is so good. Okay, so dad loved a great story. He especially loved a romance. Margaret, looking at you. Uh, he loved action adventure. He had three kids. We were extra. Um, he loved to capture the imagination. He invented an amazing uh, storytelling technique called the Inky Winky and Stinky story. We've had fights over the years about who is Inky, who is Winky, and who is Stinky. Dad's, dad would never reveal his sources and, and say so, but Dad would have us choose our own adventure in the creation of this storytelling. Some of you may be aware of fetching Father Steve and Mary Mother Margaret. It's kind of a cult classic here at ABF. Everybody loves these stories. And uh, I'm happy to tell you anything you want to know about fetching Father Steve, tackling terrier tendencies, Mary Mother Margaret and the pressure cooker protocol, <laughs> the harbinger of ham sauce, Sandy Burkett saved Christmas with uh, currant jelly. It's good. Um, so he loved a story. He also loved a movie. Sometimes, well, every time, we would go to the movies. As soon as the lights would dim, we would say, Dad, do the laugh. <laughs> when he erupted in the audience, everybody was instantly transfixed. It didn't matter how bad the movie was, everybody was along for the ride. It was great. Um, also, we, we went to see Star Wars on one of our epic motorhome trips, the very first Star Wars. And this is how great my dad was. We said, Dad, that was like the best movie ever. Can't even believe we got to see this movie. It was amazing. Can we see it again? And he said, yes. If you know my dad, you know he's rather frugal. And so for my dad to actually go back out to the ticket box to buy extra tickets to watch it again, he loved us. He was he's a pretty great dad. A plus dad. A plus. Okay, so talking about this uh, slideshow that's coming up, I just want to let you know we're going to serve some looks. Dad, through the ages, is it's a lot. The glasses, the hair, India. Dad looked really handsome with the whole India face. You know, we're going to have some spoons in the audience for that. Um, there were some adventures traveling for work in London. Margaret is serving some looks in some of those photos. Fairbanks and the JCs, Anchorage and politics. We get on to ABF and CBMC. Um, but mostly the food and the fellowship are going to come shining through. So for anybody who's watching from home, I think we're live streaming. Um, I know some of Dad's uh, partners and friends near and far, uh, please enjoy these moments. And I'll, I'll leave it there. <laughs>